Man, every time I decide to play this album from the beginning, it always ends at this song. Right as it's slowly calming down. I'm just going to hit skip to the next song. There we go. Keep that nice vibe going. So anyways, hi everybody. And Twilight's okay if you don't know much about either of the games because I came into this also knowing very minimal about both of these. Um, I thought Dead Cedar was more tank controls, but it's more so W and S moves you forward and backwards. A and D helps you strafe. To actually turn, you have to move the mouse left to right. Absurd. Yo, Shoes, what's up? Welcome in, my friend. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Fry's here also. Hello, Fry. <coughs> Welcome in. Hope you're feeling better, too. Shoes, I'm doing good. Um, it's been a weird couple weeks, so I came down with some gout in my left foot, which sucked, like in the front of it. Um, got on top of that, managed the pain. I've been changing up my diet a bit, and it's. I've been meaning to, like, work out again for the first time in a number of years because I need to uh, but besides that got over the gout scenario for like two days and then all of a sudden this weekend right like Saturday morning I wake up and my heel is fucking throbbing I'm like you're kidding me so that was my weekend it's just feeling better now so it's good um, <clears throat> but yeah so tonight um Tonight we're doing Dead Cedar Part 2. Not that it's a part two of the game, just that me having a shot at it because we got pretty far, but it just it was towards the end of the night anyways. Burbs. Walking on my hands. Oh my god. My fucking elbows would snap. Jesus. Um So I wanna get through Dead Cedar. Um so that way we can kick right into Martha is Dead afterwards, which I've heard nothing but fantastic things about. Um, other than that, only other news is I started working on uh, a highlight video for the Rage stream, and I'm just hitting a wall at one of the parts. I wanted to do something specific with the, the actual editing, but I don't think my software can actually do it, which sucks. But... It just means I have to do it a bit more manually, and it won't look as good as I want it to, but I can still do it, and then move on, get the rest of it done, because it's going to be probably like 15 to 20 minute video, because when we played for like four, four and a half hours, so this is going to be a lot of moments, but I'm going to shrink it down as much as I can, for sure, just because it's... <laughs> Me getting angry is going to get old after about three minutes, so... <laughs> um, regardless... Uh, like I said, let's move into Dead Cedar. Um, and then after we're done with that, we'll uh, transition over to Martha's Dead and we'll see where that takes us tonight. Okay. So I loaded in the game and just hit the uh, menu button. There is no pause, which is funny. So here's the map of the house that we know of. Still don't know what the hell that room is. Interesting. But we've been in there, though. I've had to have, because that's how I got to guest. There's just no name for that. That's kind of weird. And then second floor, we've all figured out. And then there is no basement mapping, which sucks, because... The key to the backstage in the basement. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Okay. Can we, uh... I have to reselect it, don't I? Yep, okay. So, so yeah, so in case you didn't know, um, this is basically like tank controls. Um, A and D, however, just do strafing. W and S do forward and backwards. To turn the player, I have to move the mouse left or right. It's like, how can we make this game as difficult as possible? So, anywho, we need to go to the basement, which I believe is this way. N no. No, it is not. 
I hate how quiet it is. There we go. Even if there's a slight little ambiance, I'd feel better about it. Which sucks, I don't have a flashlight. Nor do I know how to turn this light on, so I consistently have to keep running in a direction until I figure out how to get where I'm going. Which is honestly a pain in the ass. Um, it's not this way, is it? It is this way, okay. Crossover, like this is the basement of a house, what? <laughs> And it, that key opens this door. Shit. I thought there was lights. The fuse is missing. Right. Okay, I recall that. You go over here. Got the attic key. It's not even the fuse. So, yeah, I recall this. We now have to... Can't go that way. Okay. So, we have to go out back upstairs to the attic, which I found the door for the attic last time. Naturally, because I found everything else last time. Um, <laughs> but basically, I'm pretty sure we got to the top of the stairs and died. As I built the house, my mother moved away and seemed to disappear. I suppose my brother's no time of his own anymore. So I kept myself busy, kept building my house as they left me in the dark. But father was always there in different places, but always there. The lights are off up here. I have to come around the corner. Yep. The second we turned that on, we got chased. This is a good way to go. I think. <sighs> Door just remains open the whole time. Alright, so I need to remember how to get to the attic on the map here. I don't remember which room it was. Um, oh, right there, the stairs. Okay, I have to go to the spare room, so up and to the left. Okay, I got it. Thank God that fuck's not back in there again. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare turn on. Okay. I'm doing this just so I, it doesn't come after me in case it turns on. Something around the corner over there? Does that have a fucking light on the helmet? Oh my god. Yo! Let's go. Okay, this is big. This is big. Problem is, I think that's the only thing I got up here. Oh. Oh, I don't like this camera angle at all. Control room key. Go up on the roof? Okay. Oh, no, it's... Oh, wait. I feel like this is a bad idea. No, okay, it's just cut off. They let you go that far, apparently. <laughs> okay. Go back inside, please. So. Control room key, huh? Of course. How could I be so stupid? Alright. 
I can press tab to equip my light. Well, it's already equipped, my friend. Not good. I think I'm going this direction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know where I'm going. Oh my god. There was one right there. <laughs> Got it. Oh, but F doesn't shut it off. Interesting. Okay. Um, I gotta check the map now. Okay, I guess I could try going into the question mark room now that I actually have the light on my head because that was a big room I couldn't see anything in it except for something in the far left hand side there <sighs> yeah I, I gotta try I gotta try this light's still on that's interesting The good thing is that pickups you can find pretty easily. They do sparkle across the room. Can I open it, please? Like. Can I, like. <laughs> That's the only action I have is to click, and it just gives me three. Uh, it's some ellipsis and a question mark. That's, that's great. Be good if I can figure out what the fuck that is, please. <sighs> okay, map. Is there a control room down here? I don't think so. And I don't know about the basement. Can't be too sure. being in that room with that music. No, thank you. Whew. It's scary with the helmet lamp. Oh, my fucking God, Fry. <laughs> no. That was not okay. I see you're back, yes. I never went into the basement. Uh, I mean, we did. I don't really know what you're talking about there, but we did. Shit, that one moved. Great, now I can finally see down these stairs. I'm not going to want to... Jesse, why don't you go into the basement? Fuck. Do you think I would go away? Do you think I would stay down here? Yo, what the fuck? That is fantastic timing with the helmet. Oh, that is fucking wild. Should I go that way? I don't think there's a room over there, though. Let me go back this way. Oh. I know there's going to be one in here. not. I'm going to 
check every inch of this fucking house. There's got to be a door I haven't found. I feel like if I find one of those little fuckers, though, I'm going to know it's the right way. Yeah, so this is a dead end, so it's not this way. Oh, shit. Okay. Further down we go. Control room. That's it, just the one button. Oh, there's multiple button presses. Okay, let me go see what that does first. This gives me, oh, it gives you mega anxiety. Oh. Well, no shit, because it's giving me plenty as well. <laughs> Imagine if this was hidden deep. Like, I, I do like hidden deep, like the 2D, like scrolling thing and all that, but like, if it was stationary camera tank controls, <laughs> terrifying. Fuck. Okay. How do I get past that? Yeah, that would be legit terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> the big fucking thing from the ceiling coming down and grabbing you, the big tentacle. So do I need to make this thing chase me? So I don't even know if this is like the best way to do this right now with um, just hitting the button once down there. <laughs> oh my god. We're fucked, we're fucked. Go. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't you didn't see most of this game. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the two big enemies I've found so far in this game. There's have been a, I found a few of those though. It's more than just one, which is probably worse. But the other thing that's in this game is fucking scary, too. Okay. Aha! Come on. Locked box key two. It's the key to the box in the backyard. Okay, I guess we're going outside. I can't go the other way because that's definitely going to be blocked over here. Yeah, okay. Well, let's hope no one else snuck up on us here. Because that would suck. I'm glad this worked. Time to leave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh how did it not attack me? It was I was on Oh my god. There's two of them up here. Keep walking. Keep going. We're good. Solved that puzzle. God, get me the fuck out of here, please. Ooh! Oh, God damn it. 
there's at least three of them. I thought there was just two. Which is bad enough, but oh my god, there's another one. There's four of them in this room right now. They wouldn't move that fast otherwise. Fucking head down, buddy. Oh! There was one in the doorway right to my left as the lamp went out. That was... Horrifying. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucked. <sighs> oh, Twy, thank you so much for the host. Jesus Christ. Oh, I always forget about hosts. Oh, it's well, thank you. Baby. Oh, and shit. Here comes Demon with the raid. Oh, woof. You just learned how to do that on mobile? I didn't realize it was different on mobile. How you doing, Demon Buddy? How you feeling? I heard you got your wisdom teeth out. Hope you're feeling right as rain. Excuse me. Oh, Fry, thank you for the host as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> Smudge. You have to hit the share button on mobile, which is why I forget. Oh. I mean, I would too. I figured I'd just be able to go to my own chat and type in the command, but I guess not. I don't care what that noise is. I'm just going to leave now. Oh, no! I tried to find the safe room. Glad you're feeling better, man. Oh. I was heading for the safe room so I can save it too. Fuck. That was like, <laughs> that was a solid like seven minutes of my life I just lost. God damn it. As we come out of the basement, head this way come down and then right here problem is I'm pretty sure he was standing right here yeah he was like right here so like I don't know that'd be so hard to figure that one out I fear I could just run in a big circle he had to study so I'd basically come out of the basement here Not, I'm sorry the basement's here come out here he sees me, I run all the way around through the kitchen and straight through the store, that uh, study. I guess I could pull that off. I just stupidly <laughs> took a right here as if I was gonna head to the laundry room and just got stuck in the corner. Like a dummy. Cause I thought that was actually heading back down to the basement, but that was over here. Got it. Hi, I'm Steve-O and this is the Pussy Blast Off. Oh, what the fuck? It didn't play. What the fuck? That is outrageous. Hold on, Riz. Oh, you heard it? I did not hear it at all. That's weird. Let me see. 
I must have something off here. Only seven minutes, but imagine losing a save file you work on for five years and somehow just gone from saves, never able to get it back. Oh, I'm gonna play it again for sure. Um and yeah, Demon, I I remember playing games where you could not save the game. You had to keep the console on the whole time. <laughs> I remember the days before memory cards. Um, let's see. Ah, it says monitor off. That's why. I want monitor and output. That's a bummer. That explains why I didn't hear it. So yeah, I'm going to go play it again so I can hear it. Even though you all apparently heard it. Do, 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 do. Where's my bookmark for it? There it is. Because <laughs> we like saving their game. <laughs> yeah, just start over from scratch every time. That's the real way to do it. <laughs> Alright, I reset the... Uh, the thing as well, just in case. My only approved person that has this. Hi, I'm Steve O, and this is the Pussy Blast Off. <laughs> I fucking love it. Welcome in, Riz. Um, we're playing Dead Cedar. Uh, it's like tank control game, but you move left and right with the mouse. And forward him back with W and S. Alright, so we need to go back all the way down here. All the way down. And now that I know it's in this fucking room, I'm like... Mm-mm. No bueno. See, I like tank controls, but... The way to turn with the mouse is... It, it's so much more challenging. Oh, I just tired him out. It's so fucking challenging. Alright. Use the key. Can't see dick. Move up here. Fuse is missing. Go grab the attic key. Play like Super Mario 3 and I made it past the first two worlds and turn off the console and turn it back on, everything gone. Yep, that's how that works. What about guns? I don't think I have a gun in this game. At least I haven't been able to find one yet. Yes, I've already read this thing before. But this must be like end game material, like you're in like the last chapter. If there were chapters in this game. Come on. Oh, God damn, I'm tired again. Yeah, for those who didn't see, we get to see what's in that room shortly. Alright, remember, I need to save it when I get up here first. Even though there's bad guys up here, I can still go and save it because it's a safe room. Yep, there's one right there, I know. Oh, this is the kitchen, right? I need to do a big loop. La di da di da, doody doody do. Made it. I was like, they better not put a bad person in front of the door right there. Hi, Jugs TTS Stevo here. What level <laughs> do you get the bossy back blaster on? The bossy black ba back blaster. Uh, level 24 and a half. Welcome in, Tree. I hope you're doing well, buddy. Saving the game. So I don't have to go and get this key for the upteenth time. Nice. All right. Let's go. Up to the attic. Okay. So the attic is this way. This ended up not being a problem, but I still gotta do it anyways.
right back to the attic. I go here to pick this up. Got the helmet. Apply it. Great. Glad to see you back on stream. Killing it with the new hairdo. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nez. Yeah, I was a Sega Genesis kid. I had a Sega Genesis until I was in high school. Eighth grade, actually, one year before. Fuck. Like, I had a PlayStation, but I liked playing my Sega Genesis better. Uh, more, I should say, for most of the time. Um, but then I, I ended, ended up finding... Oh, fuck, I forgot that one's right there. Um, I just a lot of the games I had for Sega Genesis I loved playing like fucking NBA Jam RBA Baseball 94 uh, Road Rash 3 still have my original N64 plan to buy more games for actually I did not have a Nintendo 64 either but my cousin did and I played it all the time I had, he had like every fucking game um, so I ended up buying one in, from Somerville Mass and oh my god, I I bought it for thirty five bucks. Got a bunch of games, couple of controllers. It's fucking fantastic. Eventually, I'm gonna get it. I'll, I'll get a capture card or something, and I'll be able to hook that shit up so I can play N sixty four games and like old games on here. I think that'd be super cool. Just walked through the fucking door. That was cool. All right, I'm saving the game again. Because this isn't like Resident Evil. I'm not getting graded on it. Hit the wrong button. God damn it. Whoa. Save game. Love my N64. Inherited it from my brother as a kid. Oh, nice. The last time I had it hooked up, I was trying to beat um, Shadows of the Empire on Jedi. I get, I'm stuck at Boba Fett. I can't fucking beat him anymore. I don't know why. Might have something fun. They make N64 USB extenders for the original system. That's pretty cool. You run a USB hub in your house and plug and play from wherever. Oh! That's a good idea. Your aunt has an NES and some games on there, but there are NES games on the Switch, but I have to get online, which is cheap. Bean us. Yo, what up, dog? And there's no beans. I've been doing beans a long time. I never, ever went into the basement. Yeah, you did, you liar. Of course you went into the basement. Here we go. Oh, Jesse, why don't you go in the basement? Did you think I would go away? And that's when we get into this room, and... What did we do down here? Or what did someone do down here? Either way, fuck. No, we don't need the beans back. The beans were gross. Okay, so I have the what again? Oh, the control room key. Right, I gotta go this way. There wasn't anything down that way, I remember. We went in here to the control room. Hello? Control room's right in here. Open it up, come in here, hit the switch once, that's all we need. Nice, okay. Oh, fuck. Like, I don't mind jelly beans, but like, those just did not taste good. Like, it's, if you gave me the actual flavor of what something tasted like, and had the heat behind it, I'd be cool. 
like most of the hot sauces I think are pretty decent, if not good. The, obviously the stronger ones are just absolute fucking shit breath. Alright, we gotta get this guy to move again, I forgot. Fuck. Here we go. Did it like fall or something? I don't know why they ha where the hell it goes. It must have fallen. I just didn't see where it fell. Hmm. Whatever, I'm fine by it. Alright, we take this left. And then... The right. Another immediate left. All the way down to the end, take another left. That's now open. Further down, and we will find the, the door key or whatever, or chest or something. Locked box key 2 or 11, whichever way you're looking at it. And now we go back, thinking like, alright, we're good to go. By God, did I get scared coming back. I think it's directly to the left from here. Yeah, I can see the box. Yep. <laughs> we'll go this way. And there's another one. <laughs> I think that should be it. I think it's just those two here. And then there's two downstairs as well. I swear my grandpa has a game of color in which I played Pokemon Silver Gold. I don't remember me asking where it is. Nice. Yo, Mental, what's up, my dude? Welcome in. How have you been? We're playing some Dead Cedar at the moment. Hopefully I'm going to beat it anytime soon. Alright, where's this last one? Come on, where are you? Where are you? There it is. And we'll go this way. Ah, doing pretty good, man. Pretty decent weekend. Can't complain. Fuck. I forget about that one. Uh, just glad to be back streaming. It's been a bit. <coughs> Jesus, fuck. Thanks, Tree. You were a little early, because I'm pretty sure... This is about to scare the shit out of me again. <gasps> yep, it did. The one right in the fucking doorway and the light goes out. This scared the shit out of me. Yeah, you and me both. Alright, back in the creepy ass room. Alright. Now. We know another asshole is up here, but it's not one of those little running TV microwave spider things. There's something a bit more sinister up here. And I need to remind myself, so coming up out of the basement, I would need to head towards the study. So we're gonna come towards the camera, towards the camera. He's gonna be right here at the, at the corner of the kitchen, hallway and foyer. Which means I have to run and hug the wall to the right at all times and then once I get through the kitchen straight through into the study that's the safe room I don't think he can go in there I'm assuming because it's, it's, it's got the music playing and all that shit Nightbot told me to unfall I will not do that Nightbot wow rude <laughs> my goodness I need a 3k gaming setup got any ideas you need a 3k like three thousand dollars. Okay, let's make this happen. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a reason why I didn't go towards that noise the first time. 
And that's why. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay. So, we now have to go redo the basement part again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, so don't go to the alarm clock. We know that now. Yeah, ooh, scary. Um, so don't go to the alarm clock. Take the original plan. And don't change from the plan last minute like a fucking cowboy. What is this Dark Souls fuckery? <laughs> wow, the animation. I'll sit around as the world goes by. You're thinking like a fool because it's a case of did or die. Out there is a fortune waiting to be had. You think I'll let it go, you're mad. You've got another thing coming. You've got another thing coming. Welcome in, Satan. Fantastic. Fantastic song there. Lord Satan is here. Alright. So we're going to go back upstairs. We're going to get the, uh, that other key. Then we have to get to the safe room, and then from there we need to get outside and go to the backyard. Let's go wake this thing up. What? There we go. Run. It legit just hit that landing and disappeared. Weird. Texas speech thing is way better than the air horn. <laughs> what? It straight up just disappeared in front of my face. I mean, I guess that's that's fair, considering that this game is literally a free game on Steam. But honestly, this game's pretty. I like the concept of it. Um, I like how it's, like, take classic tank controls and make it even more difficult. Alright. Got the key again. Now I'm going to be careful heading back because there's a total of four I need to deal with. Two up here, two downstairs. Hug the railing. Go this way. Look at this railing. Go this way. Set camera angles drive me insane. Oh, dude, it just adds to, like, the anxiety. So many channel points gone to TTS. Came and Rickroll anymore. Oh, darn. Alright, then there's another one down. There's one right downstairs over to... It's going to be our left... Over there somewhere. So I keep going this way. And there's another one directly in front of me as I change the camera angle here. Yep. Nailed it. Cool. Could meet halfway in TTS a Rickroll. It's true. I also need to make a new um channel point goal. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, it's going to be... Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to scare myself really quick. Oh, wait. No, it's the, it's the next camera cut. <laughs> um, the next... Uh, yeah, it's the next... The next channel point redeem goal is going to be a behind-the-scenes stream where I kind of explain the setup and whatnot. Ah, uh, the raid stream was insane <laughs> I actually I rage quit the first game after like an hour I like did so much work I felt like I got really far into the game and I fell down a hole and went all the way back down to the start 
Yeah, we didn't. Uh, oh, the night jump. Yeah, all death four is absolutely absurd. Um, but yeah, I've actually started working on a highlight video of that. We have. Um, it's going to take another day or so because there's a lot to sift through. But I'll get there. All right, so we're not going in that room. So let's remember our plan. We need to go over right now to the study. There's definitely one in there. If not in the oh, maybe he breaks out of the closet through the wall. Because that gray box in the middle is where he is right now. If I go get the alarm. So he must jump out the other side. Unless there's two, then we're fucked. <laughs> Blood sliding side scroller. Oh, uh, Super Meat Boy. Yep. So we'll trigger him here, aggro him, he'll chase us. We'll come back around. Circle around through the kitchen. Straight into the study. Okay. I believe I can fly. Ooh! Shit. It's fucking locked. That fucking dick. They locked the safe room. Run. I can't go this way. I am stuck. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I can't go around this way. Let's go the other direction. <laughs> so plan right now. Yeah. Well, that's the best plan I had. I got out of the house at least. Problem is, is what's going to be back here. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> I, I definitely killed some people. Oh, my God. Or someone in my house killed some people, I should say. I don't know where this dude is going to be. Yeah, I can smash some fruits back there. Yeah. <laughs> Was this tree already cut down? Oh, that's right. I had a bunch of stumps. All right, where's this thing again? Box in the backyard. Must be up here. Oh, wait, no, this back... The house. Uh, shed. Anything back here? Oh, no box back here. That box, yep. You bet it's locked shut. Not for long, my friend. Locked box key number three. I can't just leave the house to run for it. There's a specific story we're trying to determine here. Key the locked box in the hidden room upstairs. Okay. I know exactly where that is, but god damn it, why do I have to go back inside? Oh my god. Fuck this, dude. Oh my god. God. That was fucking intense. There's another way I can hear it. I just fucking walked into it. Oh my god. It's a mimic chest. They'll leave him in the dark, of course, but I can't see it if I get too close to him because I can't see them. Oh. So there's no way of saving the game, apparently, because this door becomes locked. 
That kind of sucks. Come all the way back in. Yeah, control room. Let's go back into the basement again. <laughs> Shit, fuck. So, I mean... Maybe I'll give this another, another one or two tries. So I feel like this just, like, as fun as I have been enjoying the game and the story, this has all been a giant, like, hunt for keys, and that's kind of getting old. And I should be able to save the game. Like, that's dumb that they, they lock the door on you like that. Uh, no, they're not spiders. They're like giant TBs. <laughs> Only luck I was being chased? Uh, potentially. I don't even know where that dude even went to. Like, when I ran outside, like, did he actually go up to the front door, to the foyer? Did he stop after a few rooms? Hell if I know. I gotta get chased by another one of these goddamn things again. Yeah, must just break or something. Can you move, please? Can you despawn, please? Sir? God damn it, I broke it. Okay, now it's gone. I mean, yeah, they look like they have a bunch of legs. Yo, G-Rope, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Right, I can run the rest of the way there. So we're good for now. I'm gonna get tired. Run again. again. And here's the key once again. Now I need to dodge those two up here. First one's right there. Other one's going to be right over here. there. Got to go to sleep still recovering. Ah, oh, I get you, Fry. I'm glad you're at least on the mend as, as far as it, I can tell, which is great. Um, w will get some sleep. Get that rest that you desperately re require to feel better, as we all do. Man, fucking two nights ago, oof, I slept. <laughs> Felt good, though. All right, the other one's gonna be at the other end here, turn. Yep. All right, good. I'll go down here, get scared when the light goes off. Turn light back on, it's still there. I can't fucking move. Okay, there we go. Like, I really want to beat this game, but I kind of want to play Martha's Dead. I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again here. All right, let's get chased by this dumbass again. Even that door was locked. Did you see that? Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. I feel a lot better about it now. Saving. I 
mental coming through in the clutch. <clears throat> Saved. All right, good. Let's get the fuck out of the house. Oh, wait, wasn't there a box over here? I already opened that one. That's right. That was the first one. We just we opened the second one now, which gives us the key to the third one, which is back upstairs. Man, this is gonna suck. Also, what's up here? All oh, right, I can't open this. Still boarded up from the inside, that's right. I never unboarded it. Not that it even could. Okay. Come back around over here. <clears throat> it's locked shut. Of course it is. Unlock it. Open it up. Key number three. The main story is this guy apparently is trying to get the house ready for when his dad comes home. Either he or his dad, or maybe both of them, are I think are serial killers. And we're being haunted in a very strange way. Oh, yep, that's one. Fuck me. Hug that fucking wall. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anonymous played gunshot, motherfucker. Thank you either way for the biddies. It's very kind of you. Oh, shit. Oh my god. How did I get through that? This thing why I played a Doom 64 community map pack. Oh no, don't worry. Please try. You you do whatever you need to do. I just I appreciate that you're here. Murders and probably being hunted by demons sounds like F and AF. I mean I wouldn't say they're demons, they're just um just animatro animatronics. That dude was in the fucking attic. He's already in the fucking attic. Oh that's bullshit. He was up top, and we've been up there. That's the attic. Oh. Why do I have to go back in here? I gotta save it again. Okay. Phew. That's a relief. I don't want to do that other part over again. That I was super lucky I got through that. <laughs> you had to dodge like six of them back there. Oh. Saving, 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 saving. I've actually never pressed the hint button. I kind of want to, but I feel like it might be an achievement if I don't touch it. Okay, so let's use the map. Uh, excuse me. So that oh, it's in the secret room. It's over here. It's next to the attic. So I have to come upstairs and run around into a dead end. This dude, meanwhile, is in the attic. He could come down at any point and cut me off. Happy to be here. I'm just always busy with something. No, of course, of course. Completely understood. I'm also here with playing Borderlands 2 grind to max level. Oh, nice. Well, I also appreciate you being here, Rope, of course. Hint, use the key to find another key to find another key to find another key. <laughs> yeah. Or it'll give me the, yeah. Try to try to leave the uh, the big scary things in the dark. If you shine light at them, 
They'll see you. Oh, no way. Figure that out the hard way. Um, let me see. All right. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. And if I can't, it's okay because I just saved it and I'm right next door anyways. Next door as in like, I'm next to the stairs. Which are right here. fuck was that? Is it? Is this a lantern or something? Got the oh the fuse. All right, that's good. We have to go downstairs to the basement. I think it turns all the power on or something. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. Portrait fucking fell. Thank God. All right. Whew. Another save. <laughs> I'm saving every chance I can get. Oh my God. I thought there was a door blowing open or something and he's gonna be running at us. And I was like, where is he? But no. It's weird. He must've just stayed up in the attic or something. I have a feeling he was probably behind that curtain in that bedroom too, because I hid back there before as a joke. It's a fuse. It's also looks like a sand dial. Um, just the basement. As you're through the freaky room, come back towards the camera, around the water, through the doors. We will insert the fuse. All right, heading to bed, Demon. Uh, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate the raid earlier, as always. Um, pleasure having you in here. If you guys haven't followed Demon yet, please go ahead and give him a, a follow at this point in time. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to move forward and uh, see if I can get to the basement. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, fuck you, dude. Stuck. You know an asshole. Oh. I'm out of breath. Listen to the loudness of the DSP's footsteps. You can run, but you can't hide. Dude. Good thing I, again, just saved it. I should, yep, I was gonna say I should have the fuse. Hey, Jux, TTS Bennett Toddy here. Bennett Toddy? I bought Toddy? some cool shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. Come on, Trey. Come on. That was quick. Yeah, they, uh, the death scenes are instantaneous. You just can't get touched at all. <clears throat> so I'm not meant to be able to get to the basement right away, which is fucking bullshit.
I can't move. I, I hate that. If you try to move during animation, you just can't move. Hi, Jug. Bennett Foddy here. Is my evil and perfect clone in this chat? <laughs> yes. Like, that's such garbage that that glitch happens. I don't really know how to hide from this thing other than just run from it. Fuck. Sprinting. Holy fuck. Yeah, we know the scarecrow one. Actually, let me go and save it really quick. I do not want to do that part again. Ever again. Oh my god. That was the, that's been the scariest part of the game so far. When when he started, it started like screeching, and it was like, da, 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 da. like that man was fucking sprinting after me, standing in this field. You fuck. <laughs> All right, we've saved. Moving along to the basement with our fuse. This fucker didn't come down here. My assumption is he or the fucking easy bake ovens from hell did. Thank God there's none hidden in a little crevice over there. This is gonna suck, isn't it? No, I guess not. Oh, I can finally see this other room. That's right, I've never been in here without this thing. What is this over here? Mm, nothing. It's definitely weird. in. What the fuck? Sometimes you don't get what you want and you shouldn't. I'm so happy I did. My band teacher can't believe he put up with me. Ha ha. That's my brother. We've been through thick and thin together. Oh, thank you, Mental. I appreciate it, buddy. Have a great night. Um, if no one, if you haven't followed Mental Torment yet, please go and do so. It's easy as clicking on his name, or if you're on mobile, press his name. Uh, it should pop up, and you can hop in his channel really quick. Hit the follow button, leave the bell on, and come around back. 
It's John Lennon's talk whenever he comes by to drop the mail. These are the neighbors, the Keynes. Okay, come on. These five are the neighbors. Oh my god. This has been my best friend since freshman year. Kate, my fiance. My brother's friend Isaac, he's so funny. More canes. More canes. Old friend David, you thought I forgot about him. Grandma Emma, she's so happy all the time. My cousin Marcus, he's always scared of me for some reason. <laughs> Police investigator, he won't tell me his name. Uncle Luke, I think he was lonely until I seated him. I seated him, oh God. It's my doctor, Mr. Feld. There's nothing he can't help me with. This is Walter, my grandpa. He plays video games with me sometimes. There's another empty seat up here, too. Sorry, Mother, you can't stop me. Oh, God. Alright, so what does this thing do up here? That's it. I can't do anything. I just did this fucking t mic check. That was funny. Hey, of course, mental. I got you, bud. All right, I think I just leave. Oh, fuck me. It's nice to meet father out in the road. Pray tell, do I do that? I can't get onto the elevator. I'm very confused at the moment. I don't have anything else to use. There are buttons somewhere I'm not seeing. Look, am I missing something here? I don't know if I, I mean, we both have the same look into the game, but if you see something I'm not seeing, please let me know. I'm like clicking everywhere just in case. The police investigator is still alive somehow. Or he's coming back to life, I don't know. I wonder if I can I save in here? No. I really, really, really want to press this fucking hint button. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Like, what am I missing here? Like, I don't know how to get in there. Excuse me. No hit, don't be a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's tempting, so I don't know what the fuck's going on right here. Oh, God damn it. Is there something back in this room I'm not seeing?
This doesn't say anything. That's kind of weird to me. It just looks over at the door. Whereas the one in the front says, Mother can't stop me anymore. Yeah. Excuse me. Can't do anything with that. And then that's it. This, I don't know if that, is this game broken right now. Like I, I'm assuming I have to get onto this little elevator of sorts, but I, I literally can't get on it. There's no jump button. There's no crawl. Very concerned. <laughs> I'm assuming map doesn't work here. I don't think so. Hmm. Let me go see if there's an achievement that has to do with uh, hitting that button. Um, no, there's one achievement that set. It's called Risen Complete Dead Cedar. That's it. So, with that said, I'm hitting the hint button. Meet father out in the road where you began. But... What is this elevator for? Why would I bother coming through here? Should I backtrack all the way through? See if that is a way to get out? I guess it's my only option because I can't go through there. That's all I can think of. I mean, if I waste all this time going through and it does nothing, then it is what it is, I suppose. I guess that's why they call it Dead Cedar. We seat the dead. Please don't be here. I don't think I can go back. Father, I'm coming. Oh, maybe I can. Okay. Juggernaut, how, is, <laughs> how goes Dead Cedar? Uh, pretty good. I think we're wrapping it up. How you doing, Dogfish? Hope all is well. Why can I not go? Okay, here we go. What's this? Oh, right, I had to take that. I remember that now. Because you start off out here and make your way to the house. Welcome to the Vincent family residence. My mother gave this sign to me. This is my truck that I was driving. He's in the back, isn't he? Father, I finally found you. Oh my god. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Living the dream? Oh, glad to hear it. Um, so there's supposed to be that elevator, but I don't know what to really fucking do at this point with it. I don't know where it even goes to. It's only after I built the house. 
If only I had known you were all waiting for me down there in the basement. How could I have known what I was doing? Gathering you all this time, what a gift. I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> I was too afraid to spoil it. If I had been bold, I might have refused it. Maybe that's the lesson I would have learned from all this. When he was asleep, I built the basement and we never spoke. Then Jesse found his family. He locked up the house and ran, and so I forced him into the creek. Oh, God. I don't know, man. I know it's really bad. I say drop the corpse, hop in the truck, and grab some tacos. I mean, I agree, but it turns out that, that our character is doing all this. We haven't breathed or woken since, but gifts are for having. Like, I'm... The lights just fucking turned on. Welcome home, Father. I built this house for you to admire. Like, my guy here is a serial killer. There are tons of corpses in the basement. That's what I want. That's what you'll do. I'm still gonna fucking save it. I can't. That's my gift. So I just like to be in the dark. Which is the personification. So that's the, all the things that were chasing me are just personifications of basically me. Like I'm the I'm the fucking scary crawly thing, and then all of the uh, the things chasing after us, those corpses, the corpses that were down here, it's fucked. Tacos do sound pretty fucking good. I can't even sprint, so I'm assuming I better not I better not run into anybody. But I feel like something is about to scare the crap out of me. Um, so I've had a few good scares tonight. Not gonna lie. Can't wait to go through all the clips. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. I can hear the music. I have another metal body for your soul to squirm in. It's waiting for you. Nothing can change that. Here's all the bodies. Every last one of them. Do I put them in this one? No, that's apparently for my mother. So apparently my dad's in the back corner. Okay. Or not, I bring him out back. Feels like Venom and League of Satan should be playing. <laughs> Goodbye, father. Welcome. The show is just beginning. Do I put him in here? Okay. That makes more sense. He's still alive. That's fucked. What is down there? Father? Oh, no. Oh my God, the way it reached out. That can't be good. Uh oh. Oh, they're all loose. Oh, shit. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the deck light to shut off. Maybe that street light, too. Whoa, wait a minute, what's that? Red flashing light? Oh.
Is there more or is this credits? Credits. Okay. Damn. Okay. That story got real interesting real quick. To my knowledge, all of the non original source license of creative commons, public domain, take it from freesound.org, but lost for six, I feel like loving me unconditionally every day. And if you had another head, couldn't you see twice as far? So the devil said. Wow. God damn. So that was Dead Cedar. And, uh, I gotta say, I liked it. You feel like Dead Cedar, I made another game as well. Oh, this dude made It Steals? I have that. Huh. I'll have to play It Steals soon. However. Um. Maybe we'll play the first chapter of it. It's a little bit later than when I wanted to. I wanted to start, but we are going to play a little game called Martha is Dead. I've heard very good things about this game. And I, uh, I, I got it from the Steam sale. I'm really looking forward to playing it. Uh, we're just getting in here now. GG's indeed. Uh, yeah, so if anyone was interested in playing Dead Cedar, um, it is a free game. Apparently, we need, I need to jump over here because it's going to go right into a... Uh... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's going to be one of those games where everything gets fucked up every time I click in and out. That is fantastic. Um, let me just change the game capture really quick so we can all watch what I'm doing. That should do it. There we go. Okay. You pause. And I need to make sure I have the right sound settings. Martha is dead. Move to there. But is Martha really dead? I think I said too late, I'm hungry. Oh, I know them feels. Okay, good. I think we're good. Language, audio, Italian, text, and English. I kind of like the... So, I know this is an Italian game, so I kind of feel like I want to have... Um, the Italian audio and just have... Um, subtitles in English. Show subtitles, yes. Important. Medium font size. Uh, I don't need controller vibration. Just shut that off. Sensitivities. Not inverting that. Head bob. 25% is fine. On screen hands, sure. Keyboard is QWERTY. Audio, keep it all up. What's oh stream mode's probably for um, music that is probably not gonna like shit. I probably can't play because I'll get DMCA for it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh huh. Uh, master quality is custom. Drop down to medium. Textures drop to medium. Shadow drop to low. Vegetation medium. Effects low. Model quality medium. Motion blur no. Depth of field. Uh, it's already off. Upscore no. Upscale mode is off. Play. Uh, apply. <laughs> apply. Okay. Good. I'm just curious how things are going to look once you get into this game. Alright, let's do this. I am pretty stoked for this, not going to lie. Please adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. Um, that's barely visible for you guys. Um, for me, it's a little bit brighter, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I just want to make sure that anyone can see it. The story of Martha's Dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. Jesus, fuck. 
The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. Got me a nice chocolate fudge pop tart. <laughs> well, welcome back. Apparently this game is going to be fucking terrifying. If you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org slash find-help. Um, for realsies. Um, so Jugtober is every October. I mean... The first one was last October. It is the anniversary of my starting streaming in October of 2020. Um, all proceeds from that month, we immediately donate uh, to uh, Hope for the Day, which is suicide prevention and education and awareness. Uh, so yeah, legit. I'm all about... Um, looking for help or giving help regardless of which side of the fence you're on with that. Um, that's all I got to say about that. I could sit here and just talk all night about it, but real deep game. If there's warnings like this for real, for real. Ciao. Sono Giulia. Giulia K. Sono contenta che tu sia qui. Nessuno veniva più a trovarmi. Da anni ormai. It's been years now. Devo raccontarti la mia storia, lo so, ma non so da dove cominciare. Ci sono così tante cose che. Dovrei iniziare dalla mia infanzia. Ma di quel Start with my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. Solo quelle I mean, era il 29, mi sembra, quando fui mandato. Summer of 1929. New chapter, The Legend. Tata, mi racconti la storia della dama bianca? No, passerotto, non questa sera. Sta salendo la neve. Hey everyone, it's Doc Islands sì, in the window. Lo so che la dama oh, there he goes. le giovani donne quando c'è la nebbia. Ma perché è così cattiva? Vedi, Giulia, la sofferenza e la paura ci spingono mm. a fare cose cattive. Anche se non siamo veramente cattivi. Come i soldati che uccidono gli altri soldati. Mi piace la dama. Ho deciso, Tata. Poverina, soffre That's così a creepy tanto. Looking fucking Però doll. continua a farmi un po' paura, sai? Um, let me know if you can't see the subtitles and I can try to adjust. Lei potrebbe uccidermi. Or just read them to you. Bene? Certo che no. Allora io mi sento più tranquilla. Io le voglio bene. E mia sorella Marta è in pericolo. Marta è con la mamma. Puoi stare tranquilla. Ti mancano. No, cioè, sì. Ah, so the person writing that letter is Martha's sister. Dormi, passerotto. Si è fatto tardi. This is her telling the story about when she moved in with her nanny. Signora la dama, era molto bella. Era molto bella, sì. Molto bella. Molto bella, sì. Io la signora bellissima. Io sarò bella. Bella come lei. Tu sarei ancora più bella di lei. Senti, tata, visto che la dama non mi farà del male perché le voglio bene, e visto che tu non sei una giovane donna, mi potresti raccontare la sua storia anche se c'è la nebbia? Ti prego, dai, lo dormo, promesso. E va bene, l'hai sempre vinta tu, piccola peste. Oh, what's the nanny look like? I couldn't even see. Amavo la tata. E amavo quella storia. Ogni volta che la sentivo era come nuova e mi stregava sempre di più. Tutte le sere le chiedevo di raccontarmela, anche se mi faceva paura. Ancora oggi mi sembra di ricordare ogni singolo giorno di quel periodo. Come ero felice. Oh God. Un'antica leggenda racconta che i laghi della zona sono abitati dallo spirito di una giovane donna morta Yikes. per mano dell'uomo che amava aspettava l'incontro galante fissando il vecchio albero sulla piccola isola del lago il desiderio le speranze ma ad Jesus. aspettarla c'era la morte non l'amore. Keep listening. L'uomo, disperato, 
confessò di averla uccisa per gelosia. Out of jealousy. E fu impiccato sull'isoletta dello stesso lago Jesus. in cui l'aveva annegata. Nonostante le lunghe ricerche, però, il corpo della ragazza non fu mai trovato. Mm. Da allora il suo spirito, conosciuto come la Dama Bianca, vive prigioniero nelle acque dei laghi, disperandosi per la perdita del suo Still loved him after all that. Mm. Quando si alza la nebbia, la dama può lasciare le acque dei laghi ed aggirarsi nei boschi, nella vana ricerca del suo amore. I cacciatori raccontano di sentire i lamenti di una donna durante le albe nebbiose. Keep listening. I need to hear the whole story, please. La dama esige la vita di una giovane donna. Ogni qualvolta gli eventi risveglino in lei la memoria della triste notte in cui morì. Jesus. Attraverso questa giovane vita che svanisce, per alcuni istanti la dama si libera del fardello del suo dolore. Just a picture of the tree. Buonanotte, amore mio. I enjoyed listening to that. Oh, there was definitely some titties there. That was, that was rough. Poi tornai a casa e dimenticai rapidamente come si faceva ad essere felici. Fu dopo 15 anni, nel 44, che tornai a stare in quella casa. 15 years later? 44? Stavo sistemando alcune macchine fotografiche nel bosco, vicino al lago. Un congegno che aveva costruito mio padre le faceva scattare dopo qualche minuto. Cercavo di fotografare gli animali, o qualsiasi altra cosa ci fosse in quel maledetto posto. Uff. Do I have control? Yep. New chapter, the lake. W dickwad Arrotolare il rollino Aprire la macchina Togliere il rollino vecchio Removed old roll of film Roll in. Mettere il rullino nuovo. Chiudere la macchina. Carica. And loaded it automatically. Sick. Attivare il temporizzatore. Ci siamo quasi. Devo solo mettere a fuoco l'immagine. C'è qualcosa sulla superficie dell'acqua? Se la inquadriamo, non so se si può vedere cosa si tratta. Che c***o? aiutarla oh it's a point and click ok ero inorridita all'idea che qualcuno potesse essere ammirato nella mia vita era il mio mondo qui ci passavo intere giornate a fantasticare mi perdevo nei miei pensieri 
Run on it and just dive in like that, huh? Not sure this is the best idea. But here we are. subito che indossava un mio vestito ero spaventata what if my dresses oh come boy potevo quel corpo privo di vita fino a riva cercando di non annegare a mia volta capì di chi si trattava solo quando la sollevai tra le braccia era mia sorella mia sorella gemella ed era morta una cosa impossibile ero così disperata Non sapevo più né cosa facevo né cosa pensare. So yeah, Martha is dead. We got our answer. Devo stare calma. Jesus. Martha non è morta. Non right. è possibile. Pretty sure she's dead. No, just gonna have to go for weed. I finally catch you on. <laughs> Yo, goon, welcome in, buddy. Ah, uh, we just started. Martha is dead. Oh, fuck. The Nazis are here? Hope you're doing well. I mean, it's gonna be shit. 12 30, so it's gotta be close to, what, 6 30 for you? February 26, 1923. I'm just going to wear it. No, everything is not fine. Just found my twin sister. She did. He was great. 5.30? Okay, I was close. <laughs> yes, I'm on East Coast. Mr. Rope. Il suo calore mi riempì di vita e il dolore divenne sopportabile. Mi sentivo protetta. I felt protected. Marta, stai bene? Mi chiese parlando lentamente per permettermi di leggere le lettere. Pensava che fossi sorda. She thought I was Pensavo deaf. She sorda. thought I was Martha. Non volevo far svanire tutto. Così feci timidamente cenno di sì con la testa. Non mi resi conto di aver imboccato una via senza ritorno. Oh, oh shit. I never know that, so am I. I don't know. Yo, this is nuts. New chapter, the body. Sign of the cross or get up. I mean... Pregare è inutile. Serve solo per mettersi a posto la coscienza. Yikes. Cercando di calmare il dolore. Ma io non voglio che il dolore si calmi. Cosa mi resterebbe? That's, like, that's Martha. Martha's dead. They think, they think I'm Martha. La mamma ha sempre qualcosa da fare per tutti. It's good to say look in the game settings, sleep to close, spaced highlight points of interest. I'm gonna wake his ass up after. I'm gonna get everything else first. Libri, libri, libri. Libri, libri. E nella villa libri. ne sono rimasti almeno dieci volte tanti. La mamma e il babbo. Eleganza e ricchezza. Wealth and elegance. Ma il dolore non costa nulla e non guarda alla forma. Questo pittore era amico del nonno. Mi sono sempre piaciuti i suoi quadri. Da bambina li guardavo per ore. Io e Marta. 
L'unico modo per riconoscerci era vestirsi in modo diverso. Neppure la mamma è mai riuscita a riconoscerci. I bastoni del babbo sono bellissimi, ma non so dire perché. Mi hanno sempre fatto paura. Creepy. Non posso spengerla. Dobbiamo ascoltare la radio, sempre. Eventuali notiziari e annunci possono essere di vitale importanza. Tutto questo prato finirà. 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 I don't know what I'm doing with that thing. What's this say? 17 luglio 1944. La nostra famiglia commossa vi è vicina in questa grave circostanza. <laughs> Ernesto. Ernesto e, e famiglia. 17 luglio 1944. Nel cordoglio che ci unisce siamo al vostro fianco in questo momento difficile. Per la prematura perdita di Giulia. Monsignor Attilio. Monsignor? 17 luglio 1944. Ministero della guerra. Direzione generale leva sotto ufficiali e truppa. Partecipiamo al vostro improvviso dolore, inviandovi sentite condoglianze. Il tenente colonnello relatore. Relatore. Oh. Un dipinto antico. Lo trovo così triste. Mi comunica un grande senso di solitudine. Hmm. Non c'è motivo di telefonare ora. Is the same ones again? 17 luglio 1944. Ministero della guerra. Direzione... No. La scatola di un telegrafo. Io lo so usare. Il babbo mi ha insegnato. Telegraph box. Perfume? Lighter. I'm gonna have Buddy gonna head out. We're watching AW tomorrow. Um, potentially. I'm assuming we're still good for D&D &D tomorrow. Unless you know something I don't. Still, sit still for a second. Lobo e del babbo. Stavamo preparando un duetto molto bello insieme. Le rare volte che ero a casa. Arthur Camp. Oh, right, because uh, Fourth of July was a Monday holiday. Right, 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 right. Hmm. I'll see what I can put together then. Sembra quasi impossibile che il babbo sia un suo. So we're these damn flowers. Hi mom. Thanks for the flowers, mom. Tutto deve essere sempre perfetto per lei. Just a song. Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Oh. Felice non è felice. È cessata la pioggia. 
La mia barba è bionda. Parla Londra. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Huh. We'll talk more in Dream Martha. I'll do my best. Perfect. Fuck six. Che succede? Chi ha chiuso la porta? I didn't close the door. Giulia ha fatto un bel regalo, lo sai, vero? E come se non bastasse, ora l'ha anche lasciata sola. La solita storia che tutto è colpa di Giulia, vero? Marta è sorda. Tu che non puoi aver figli, ma ti sembra il momento. Giulia è morta, Irene. Morta. Qualcuno l'ha uccisa. Te ne rendi conto? Certo che me ne rendo conto. Lo capisco. Cosa credi? Se non lo capisco io. Sempre problemi, solo problemi. Sarebbe stato so meglio se non fosse nata per niente. Tu sei pazzo. Io sono pazzo. Oh, Io. Excuse me. Oh, these things aren't going well there. E così. Sono io la causa della tua morte. Ho saputo farti solo del male, Giulia. Povera, dolce. Oh, it's so fucked up. It's not even Giulia. Non sono senza di te. That's Martha. La vita ora. Tutto il tempo che non ho saputo spendere con te. Ora sono a casa. Possiamo andare a pescare insieme. Possiamo fotografare le farfalle. No. Non possiamo fare più niente insieme, vero? No, you can't, Dad. Mentre i bombardamenti anglo-americani continuano a devastare le pacifiche città della Valdelsa, è con grande dolore che apprendiamo quanto accaduto nei pressi della Roma. La giovane figlia del generale dell'esercito tedesco Eric K è stata assassinata nei pressi della sua abitazione. Che ragioni possono esserci dietro un atto così vile? È quello che sperano di scoprire i carabinieri che sono subito intervenuti. So our dad is a German general, Jesus Christ. During this time of uh, human history. You know, be a German general then. Forse le dispiaceva che la mia morte fosse così dolorosa per Marta, ma non avermi più intorno per lei doveva essere un gran sollievo. In fondo era meglio per tutti che a morire fossi stata io. E sarebbe stato meglio anche per me che gli altri lo pensassero. Ma il senso di colpa iniziò a divorarmi. Fu allora che cominciai a fare quei sogni orribili. Oh god. towards Martha maybe so Martha has lost her soul yikes
God. We got a picture of it. I stole her life. Nope. Okay, maybe not. I stole her identity. See, it was my fault. I didn't kill her. Martha's dead body. Excuse me, Julia's. Fucked off. Fuck. Yo, are you serious? She's still her identity. Oh, that is so fucked. <laughs> The music is so uncomfortable. Can we not? Hey, Sass, welcome in. We're playing Martha is Dead, and uh, she dead. That is for sure. Era solo un sogno. Un orribile sogno. Quella donna. Il volto di mia sorella. Vorrei che tutto fosse un sogno. E vedere mia sorella che dorme nel suo letto. Invece il letto è vuoto. E questa è la realtà. Um, I wish I could physically imagine this squishy feeling that must be like on your face. Gag. <laughs> um, so I'm honestly thinking as much as I want to keep playing this right now, um, it is just about one in the morning Eastern time. Um, I'm thinking maybe this is a good place to uh, hit the save button. We played for about a half an hour. I, I can't wait to play more. The lake, the body, the first dream, the first dream, the room. Yeah, so this is actually. It's the beginning of the chapter. So that's actually right as we started. So that's good. Yeah, it's late for us. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Well, I'm very, very excited to um, play this game more. That is for certain. However, I believe it is time to uh, raid out. See who's uh, see who's around. Fix this level one play test, and I'm gonna shower in bed. Good call. So let's see. We got habitual kiwis on, we got codename powers on, dream manifested, first among cows, 
Xenophar. Larzon playing some Destiny as always. You know what? I don't think I've rated Habitual Kiwi yet. Thank you for the stream track. We have a great rest of your night. I am going to certainly have the best night that I can throughout the remainder of my night. And I hope that you have a lovely evening as well. And you wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and your back doesn't hurt you. Because that shit sucks. <laughs> I feel it. Um, so yeah. Why don't we go hop in. Say hi to our dear friend Habitual Kiwi. And uh, Kiwi is best fruit. Yeah, this is damn good. Um, so tomorrow I am uh, gonna be watching. Probably be watching some wrestling with Tree Beard and some others. Anyone that wants to join us, you just hop in the Discord. It's anyone can just hop in and watch and hang with us. Um, afterwards, I'd like to come back and play some more Martha is Dead because I like this style of game. I don't have to do too much. I just pay attention, get the story, make some decisions, walk around a little bit, investigate a little bit. Um, but I'm liking it so far. Yeah, thank you, Sass. You too. I appreciate you dropping in. I I'm sorry it's right at the end of everything, but uh, I'm glad you at least got to come in and say hi. Uh, always a pleasure having you in here. Um, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this raid pop in here. Habitual Kiwi, because I keep forgetting to start it. Habitual Kiwi. There we are. We're starting up the raid. Been lurking here for a while. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Always lurking, Wazowski. Always. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Uh, so I'll probably be back tomorrow night. And um, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. More than likely going to be Thursday or Friday. We'll get that... Um, the rage stream highlight video up on YouTube. So keep your eyes up for that. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Have a lovely rest of your evening and enjoy your Wednesday tomorrow. See ya.